The first tip that I'd like to share with you is something that's a pretty basic thing. And a lot of people, I think, do play with uh, them, especially when you have a tenor size ukulele, as I do. Um, and some people even use them for ukes that are soprano size and concert size and such. Um, and that is using a strap. The strap that I have, um, I had to have uh, strap buttons installed on my ukulele. And as you can see, there's a strap button here, and then there's a strap button here. Some people only have strap buttons that are installed just at the, this point of the ukulele and what they'll do is they'll use the strap itself which sometimes will come with strings and you can use those to tie around the headstock. Um, typically what people will do is they'll put the strings underneath the strings around here and tie it and you can use your strap that way. For me, I felt more secure and comfortable um, having this additional strap button installed. And when you see when I get it all set together here, it helps you hold your uke a little bit better, or a lot better in my case, I feel, and takes off some of the weight of the uke itself um, and frees up your fretting hand quite a bit. Um, again, this is just for me personally. It's different for everybody. Um, there are also all sorts of other different strap configurations that you can um, find. Uh, one that comes to mind is the uke leash um, by a lady named Lori um, Anthrope, I think. Um, I'll include a link to her website below. Another is the Mobius strap. Um, it's made uh, by a gentleman named Tim. I don't remember his last name, but I'll also include a link to that as well for you. You can find the Euclish on their website at euclish.com. Information on the Mobius Strap is at their website, www.mobiusstrap.com. One of the first things that you can check when it comes to playing a ukulele comfortably is how hard you're pressing the strings down to make your chords. It sounds kind of silly maybe to make mention of that, but I do because when I first started playing, I found that I almost had like a death grip <laughs> in my fretting hands trying to make my chord shapes. Um, through some reading online um, on different websites for ukulele, I, I realized that it's not necessary to have to press so hard. Um, I think also, uh, as I made mention of in the video before too, using this strap, help me in feeling that I didn't have to grasp the, the neck so tightly and hold it because the weight of the uke is, being on, is on my shoulders and my back so I don't have to worry about holding it up with my hand. Um, so learning to relax my fretting hand while playing has been really challenging for me but the better that I get at doing that the more comfortable I feel too with my hand and I get hardly any pain from playing because I'm not gripping again with my fretting hand to make my chord shapes. So consider again how tightly and firmly you have to press down uh, to make your chord shapes. It shouldn't have to be real hard um, to get you know a good a good chord. So um, do consider that as well with respect to your ukulele playing comfort. To wrap up from part one, try a strap or other support device and relax your hand while making your chords.